And the correct answer here is similar to vertex cover, those cases are actually the easy ones and I'll show you why. So either V or U already has an assignment and we can just consider one of those cases. So let's say V already has an assignment, here is U, and there's two cases. Either we said yes, V is in the independent set or we say no. V is not in the independent set. Now this case up here, that's very easy to see because if V is in the independent set and there's an edge here between those vertices, then you cannot be in the independent set. So that one's very clear. Now what about the case down here? And that's the case that requires a little more thought. By itself right now, it could either be that U is in the independent set or it's not and we don't know. So you might have been inclined to think that we need to modify the search tree or initiate some other form of brute force search but actually that's not necessary and I will show you why. This vertex U here, there's two possibilities. So if U is not connected to any other vertices, so let's say all other vertices in the network are independent of U, then we can put U into the independent set without having to think because we're looking for a maximum size independent set. This is the only connection that U has to other vertices. Why not just take it? Doesn't really cause any other conflicts. Now, what if U is connected to other vertices? And here there's three different possibilities. The first possibility is that U has some neighboring vertex, so one that is connected by an edge, where we already have assigned it to be in the independent set. And in that case, we can immediately say, no, U cannot be in the independent set. We must assume that none of these vertices here is already in the independent set. So now there's two different cases. One is that one of these vertices here has not yet received an assignment. And in that case, we don't have to worry about modifying the search tree because now we're looking at a case like this here again. So we can use our standard search tree to search through assignments for these two vertices here. If every vertex here, on the other hand, already has an assignment, then we just discussed, because we just dealt with the other case, that all of these assignments here must be a zero. So all of these vertices here, and there can be more of course, are not part of the independent set. And that means that we can take U into the independent set again. It might not have been obvious uh, in terms of thinking it through what to do in this case, but for an algorithm, we can design it in a way so that the algorithm always knows what it is to do. First of all, it looks for edges where both vertices do not have an assignment. And once it cannot find those edges anymore, then it will know how to deal with the remaining vertices. And this of course means that for independent set, we can use a search tree that just like vertex cover, always finds an assignment for two vertices or at least two vertices. So it's height, so to say, of the search tree is n half. The size of the layers multiplies by factor three. So the size of the overall tree is three to the power of n half. For independent set, we have a search tree of size 1.7 3, 3 to the power of n. Just like vertex cover, the calculation here is the same. And because independent set and click are so similar, we just have to transform the network to the inverse network, as you remember hopefully from the first unit. We also have a search tree of size 1.733 to the power of n for click. Just like Alice, no reason to be super happy, but Bob and Carol can be a little happier now. And of course we're going to go on investigating.